When we are dealing with damp indoor environments, contaminated with uh, fungal microbials and, the, and, and laden with particulates on the surface of which are the poisons that these uh, multiple different species of molds will produce, the poisons are extreme toxins and really it's imperative that we find a way, if we're going to remediate a building successfully, to destroy the poisons. CDC currently recommends that you clean mold with bleach. If mold grows on hard surfaces, clean with commercial products, soap and water, or a bleach solution of one gallon of water mixed with one cup of household bleach. I do not make that recommendation. In fact, I believe it is an error, and I believe that they are not taking into account the toxicology that is involved in what they're doing with chlorine. When you chlorinate low molecular weight hydrocarbon pesticides or poisons, including the mycotoxins, they become more lipid soluble and they become more mutagenic. So in essence, we're making the poisons more toxic by using chlorine in the cleaning process. A much safer process would be to use a combination of a simple non-fragrance detergent or soap, vinegar, and peroxide, because the oxygen in the peroxide is in essence the same as ozone, and it can in fact clear and neutralize the poisons and also kill almost all of the funguses involved. There is one exception to all of this and that has to do with Stachybotrys, which has come to be known as the black mold even though many species of fungus are black. Ozone can be used to fumigate a space and it will destroy organic molecules and break them down to CO2 and water safely and harmlessly. We have used that repeatedly in burned buildings. If you have that char smell in a building and you want to be able to occupy the space, you fill the space with ozone for 24 to 48 hours and then you evacuate the ozone and you're left with a clean smelling building. Well. The only concern about ozone is that you not breathe it. At concentrations as little as a tenth of a part per million, non-allergic and non-asthmatic individuals, when given a single breath inhalation, were sensitized for eight months and became asthmatic and reactive. So ozone has a role to play. It should be used by professionals who are used to handling it and who know how to purge it effectively before human occupancy recurs.